Joel Penorwood here with Ohio AgNet and Ohio's Country Journal. Here just north of South Charleston with Ohio State University Research Manager Richard Minio. Richard, thanks for joining us today. Could you tell us just a little bit, first of all, what we're doing today and why exactly we're doing it? Today we're planning a graduate student project uh, studying drought tolerant hybrids. We have four different hybrids in this study at five populations from 24,000 to 50,000 population. Now let's talk about the piece of equipment you're using today. It's pretty much brand new. This is the first year you guys are using it. Give us a brief overview of that brand new specialized planter. We have an Almeco C Pro 360 Sky Trip System Research Plot Planter. It's a four row planter. It's completely controlled via satellite and GPS. Complete with insecticides to run smart boxes and liquid fertilizer for starters. Now, compared to the previous planner you had, you said you had been running it for quite a few years, and now since this is a, a custom made just for you guys' uh, use, how would you compare it to that planner, and, and what do you guys really like about this planner? The planner we had previous to this one was built at Ohio State in the early 80s. Uh, technology components uh, just outdated the point that we were having. You know, it could have been an issue to keep it running. So we made the decision a year ago to upgrade you know, to the new planner and I've compared it jumping from a Model A to a Porsche and technology right? Now Richard, this isn't just a one-man job. Could you tell me what Alan is doing back there? Alan's feeding packets through the planner. We are dumping one, one set of packets every 25 feet, which we are covering in nine seconds. That's where all of the calibrations are set right now. So every 25 seconds, every 25 feet, nine seconds, if the horn goes off, and he dumps two packets into the planter. We're set up on the planter that each packet is two rows, so everything's in pairs. With this planter, we can also plant two row pots, or convert over, we can actually put plant single row germplasm and the material also. We're using Trimble Guidance on a, on a deer, John Deere 6115. Uh, Trimble has worked with us on setting this system up. We have the new 2050 display, which we're running RTX, which gets its ground correction via satellite. Second monitor in here is the planner control monitor. The planner adds its own onboard computer, so this would be just like a display desktop display on your desk at home. I've got a CAD cam mounted that I can watch change turn. We're running fall planning. I can see how much seeds in my hoppers. We're also running a smart box insecticide system. And this planner has the Kinsey pneumatic down pressure airbag flow. And just one more thought. This is a custom made piece of equipment. Uh, what is your guys' you think favorite part about using it so far this year? Just the easy operation and the accuracy. It's we covered, we put in 8,000 plots at eight locations in eight days. Uh, a lot of our days are 12, 14 hour days, and when we're done at the end of the day, it's just it's not as tired and beat up as the old system. Now we are at the Ohio State University's Western Agricultural Research Station, and planting for research is quite a bit different than commercial operations. One of our plots is four rows wide normally, 25 feet or 40 feet long. So a plot test is 250 square feet where a producer might be 25 or 50 acres. It allows us to condense into a smaller area with the most uniform type of soil conditions we can find. And it allows us to evaluate a lot of material in less space. Quite a bit all over. Ten different stations you guys are at across Ohio. Talking to Richard Minio, research manager for the Ohio State University with the brand new planter here just north of South Charleston. Talking to Alan Geyer, research associate, we are on top of that unique research planner we just heard about in the cab camp. Alan, could you talk to us about what your job is back here and uh, the specific parts that you see day to day? I'm feeding the seed to the planter. We're opening two packets. We're going to top off with two packets. One packet goes in each hopper. Each hopper is feeding two rows. That gives us the ability, if we want, we can do two row plots. Or do four row plots with the packets containing the same hybrid. I have a display screen here that is 
display of the main screen and see the tractor cab. I'm seeing the same things up there, seat counts, skips, doubles. Um, I'm seeing the next range, next packet, make sure where I'm at in the packet so I'm not, uh, don't get lost in the packet sequence. Dump packets every nine seconds.